Uh, thank you so, so much um, for having me yet again. And uh, first of all, let me pass my condolences to the families of the uh, students who lost their lives uh, at uh, Hillside School. And um, I must also say that uh, uh, sometimes it is just an accident. Uh, sometimes it is um, out of carelessness. Sometimes it is as a result of uh, incompetent work. But already no, um, I believe um, uh, proper safety uh, care requires to be put in place. And um, we at Achievers College and we at Royal Fanaka Academy, we have uh, really uh, put all the measures in place. Uh, we train our people uh, on, um, on uh, first aid. Uh, we have also proper capacity. Uh, of the equipments that are needed. We have fire extinguishers. Uh, we have also uh, uh, fire exit and evacuation places. Uh, we have been checked by the uh, Ministry of um, Education, and I believe um, all that has been put in place. And I believe um, uh, it is something that um, every other institution requires to do so that uh, we do not have such incidences, especially those uh, boarding schools. There are some boarding schools where they are also uh, boarding in those particular uh, places. It is important that um, they take those safety measures because the moment we have the safety measures, then we are sure that our students, we are sure that our pupils will always a joy and we won't have such incidences in future. So safety precautions is quite important, including also fire detection things, um, equipment, including also the government coming in place so that we do not have uh, issues of uh, non-compliance of the same. So um, it is something that we have done in our college and also in our Royal Fanaka Academy. Looking at, you know, the incidents that we saw, um, especially in this scenario of the school, um, ideally, who then would need to be, quote-unquote, held to account? Who should, you know, who should be answering the questions? And even before we get to how then to mitigate this, from your perspective as an educationist, in terms of trying to get to the bottom of the matter, also in terms of investigations, the complexity of it all, Dr. Ari? Yeah, um, one thing that I would want to say, is sometimes there are always accidents. Yeah. But uh, also on the other hand, it is important, first of all, we uh, ask whether the Ministry of Education, uh, it has properly implemented the act. Yes. Uh, they need to actually check the buildings. They need to check the materials that are usually there. And uh, therefore, we have the Ministry of Education also has a duty to check on the uh, compliance of the people that are actually uh, dealing with the, uh, that are keeping the education uh, institutions. But on top of that, we also have a culture as a society. Uh, as a society, we need to have that culture of comply mm -hmm. because it is like in Kenya, we usually don't have that culture of comply. You realize there are so many people that would want shortcuts in life. So um, many a times we overlook a small, small bit that really would cause a safety in our institutions. Like um, you get some incompetent wiring technician, and once you get that incompetent wiring technician, what happens is that um, he does some shonde work, 